Hello, I am Manish Bharadwaj, Systems Application Engineer with Texas Instruments, supporting C2000 System Solutions. Today, I am going to give you a demonstration of the C2000 Solar Microinverter Kit. First, let's begin with an overview of what is a solar microinverter. A solar microinverter is an equipment that takes energy from the photovoltaic or the PV panel and feeds it into the grid. This is achieved typically with the help of a DC-DC and a DC-AC stage. This slide shows the solar microinverter kit which uses a clamped DC-DC flyback and a DC-AC inverter and illustrates the control scheme used. It is seen that there are two control loops. First is the DC-DC flyback control loop which is responsible for maintaining the PV panel at the maximum power point. And second is the inverter control loop which feeds a clean and in-phase current into the grid while maintaining the DC bus voltage at a fixed value. Now let's look at what happens as the inverter starts. In the beginning, the input voltage of the panel is at the open circuit voltage and there is no current drawn. As the DC-DC stage is started, some current is drawn from the PV panel. This starts charging up the DC link voltage between the flyback and the inverter stage. And once this voltage reaches a DC reference point, the inverter operation starts. As the MPPT algorithm keeps moving the PV current towards the maximum power point, the DC bus can rise even further. And to keep it constant, the inverter control loop will increase the current fed into the grid. Once the maximum power point is reached, the current stabilizes and reaches a steady state. So here we are in the lab where we will see the solar microinverter kit running. For demonstration purpose, we will connect a PV emulator, which you see on the left hand side, to the input of the kit. In the center is the solar microinverter kit board. On the board is the DC-DC clamped flyback stage that is used to boost the panel voltage to around 300 volts. The output of the flyback stage is connected to the inverter stage input, where a voltmeter is connected to monitor the DC link voltage. To emulate the grid, an AC source is connected at the output. A resistive load is also connected at the output to ensure power is not fed back into the AC source. The oscilloscope is used to measure the grid voltage and the microinverter current that is fed into the emulated grid. For this demo, we will launch the GUI Composer application associated with the kit which is available in Control Suite. The GUI will load the code onto the board, enable real-time mode and run the code. Once finished, the GUI shows the voltage and current at the input and output of the solar microinverter. Powering up the panel emulator and the AC source, we see the panel voltage which is around 40 volts and the grid voltage that is around 110 volts being shown on the GUI. Now, let's start the inverter by clicking on Inverter Start button. We see, as the inverter starts, the power sourced from the AC source for the local load will drop and the PV inverter current will increase. MPPT tracking performance can be seen from the GUI associated with the panel emulator and is seen to be close to 99 to 100%. In this test, the PV panel emulator characteristics are fixed and hence the tracking efficiency is called static MPPT efficiency. We see the DC bus is being regulated properly. On the oscilloscope, we can see the steady state waveform of the grid voltage and current. We see a clean current waveform that is in phase with the grid, which shows good control of the grid current. Another factor that plays into the microinverter design is dynamic MPPT efficiency, that is, MPPT tracking under varying lighting conditions. For this, PV emulator is programmed to vary the panel characteristics and the MPPT tracking efficiency is observed. The microinverter current changes depending on the panel condition and good MPP tracking 
is maintained under these varying panel conditions which can be seen from the panel emulator GUI. To appreciate this better, let's zoom out and see the varying current waveform as the panel emulator steps through the different panel conditions. Next, we will look at anti-islanding. Anti-islanding is a mechanism by which the inverter shuts off in case of grid loss or when the grid is not well behaved. A passive anti-islanding scheme is implemented on the solar microinverter. To test this, the microinverter will be subjected to conditions like varying grid frequency, voltage sags or grid loss and its behavior will be observed. First, let's change the frequency of the AC source to be 63 Hz. We see the inverter instantly shuts off. This is called over frequency lockout. Now bringing the frequency back to 60 Hz, we see the inverter starts up again as it detects favorable grid conditions. and it will track back to the maximum power point. To test behavior in case of a grid voltage sag, the AC voltage is changed to 80 volts. The inverter immediately shuts off. Once again, when the voltage recovers or the sag is over, the inverter starts up again and tracks back to the maximum power point. Similar behavior can be observed in case of complete grid loss and panel under voltage. So, in summary, we saw the inverter start, steady state of the inverter, static MPPT tracking, dynamic MPPT tracking and anti-islanding working on the solar microinverter kit. Complete software and hardware for the kit is available under Control Suite. Hope you found this video useful and for more information, please visit www.ti.com slash tool slash TMDS solar microinverter kit. Thank you.